you did a barbell and you breathe here, I don't want the barbell to go up. You do like this. I want here. Okay? Okay, then get a bit. Walter, Edgar, Edgar. You have a middle name? Yes. Julio. <laughs> Jorge Julio. No, it's Ricardo. It's better than that. Edgardo. It's better than that. Anastasio. No. Alejandro. I, I knew Ooh. it. I knew it. That's a sexy Romansky. name. You have second name? Okay. Middle name. You have Roman. No. Roman. I don't know. Sergey. So many names in Latin I don't know, we, we like, because many of our parents watch too many soap operas <laughs> and they like to go name us characters. And they so can't decide. They can't decide. So, my sister names is Dalia Mariana Salome Maria de Lourdes. And then the family name. My brother is Juan Manuel and uh, my full name is Facundo Martin Cruz. I don't think I've ever heard that. No, me neither. Yeah. Just, just for me. We are actually trying to identify what are the things that we need to be working starting this season 2024. I know the weekend is a couple of weeks away, but uh, whatever happens this week is going to help me understand what is needed to be added in each other's programs. So we're trying to identify little weaknesses and also we're trying to um, just to evaluate a little bit how the last month produced an effect on their type of adaptations and uh, it's going to be a full week of training. Who's, uh, and, uh, who's in town? Who's in the camp this week? So we have Roman who of course lives here. We have Jorge Alejandro who also lives here. Uh, Saxon is here. We have Karen from Slovakia, one of the fittest uh, women in, in, in the world, in Europe. A very, very strong athlete. Uh, she just uh, won uh, Dubai and the Pamplona Pixel Games. And we have Elliot. Elliot is from France, from Lyon, where the semifinals is going to take place. He was at the Games last year as a member of the Genas team. They, they get along super well, so for me it's really a pleasure to be able to, to work with them all together. Hey! Too no, it's not too heavy. But if it's too heavy, no problem. Just don't do touch and go. I'm not sure Roman enjoys very much. I wanna. Um, I don't know. I, I think that he feels that I've always put him out of his comfort zone very easily. And he can take that once a day, but not twice. <laughs> But the good thing is that he is a very clever guy, so he knows what he needs to do. And although sometimes he complains about it, he does it anyways. I mean, there are a couple of times that I'm in Europe and he calls me and said, this workout I don't like, it's too much, it's too little, it's whatever. I said, well, what do you want to do? Nothing, I'll do it. I just want to say that it's very stupid. Two camps in a row. Yeah, right? <laughs> two camps in a row, we got the open next week. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, it feels good. I mean, it's just constant competition for two weeks. But it, the, what's good is I'm getting used to the volume, so. What are you coming up with? Heavy rock double unders. Because you need it. I need everything apparently. Anybody here? here trying to negotiate something that's not going to happen for them? Yeah, then that's perfect. I just what didn't mean. I, I still didn't like them actually. Hey Roman, I bet I can finish this this workout before you finish round two. I have to keep at home, you know. You're lucky that I'm not talking about frozen the whole time. Okay. Three. And five minutes rest. This is the highest level. The pinnacle, the mountain top is no one best. The legacy, the dynasty will reign forever. It's now or never. This is the highest level. they're 
chest in and they're going to go for another set of similar type of stimuli but different volume and difficult, uh, uh, different level of difficulty. This is the highest level. The pinnacle, the mountain top is no one better. The legacy, the dynasty will reign forever. It's now or never. This is the highest level. The highest level. Quick, 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 go, 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 keep going. Keep pushing, keep pushing. You're almost there, almost there, come on. Good, I think the second part was much better, right. no? Yeah, I should. You need to trust yourself. You're yeah. very good. I don't know why you have this doubt sometimes. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you burn here, what would be the problem? Yeah. You know that that's your limit. Yeah. But if you never go to that zone of you're danger, you know. You're never going to know. You're yeah. never going to know. And I think that you have much more maybe than what you sometimes think you have yeah, in the tank. Right. Yeah. You know. And you know, when you do these strength exercises, you know that you're strong, so you know you can push. But these things you also need to be aware that your fitness has grown yeah. enormously yeah. lately. And you can push a bit harder. Yeah. Sorry for talking back. Huh? So sorry for talking back when we're doing the workout. No. Yeah. What did you say? We forgive you. Cough. No. Basically. <laughs> no, he was just telling me what to do and I was just being hard headed. He was telling me to push harder and I was like resisting it. And he's right. No. I needed that. Okunda. Yes. But you must have a drug, no? Are you, are you sure this okay? Can you pull now, honestly? I do, I do, no, do every, I Tuesday. Yeah. every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Routine. These kind of workouts, you know, they highlight so much sometimes certain weaknesses that there's a lot of frustration when they finish because they realize, okay, you know, I'm not still where I think that I should be for the type of work that I'm doing. Uh, and, you know, the fact that we are training in a group of such strong you know athletes whether you like it or not they are very pushed um, but we are in a moment of the season where we can allow this to happen and you know to live with these frustrations and to acknowledge okay we need to push it here and there um, but certainly these kind of workouts they are not easy afterwards when you make a, a debrief on what just happened how would you characterize this programming diverse but yet we'll repeat the same stuff in different ways. I think the one thing that I love the most about it is like, let's say you do thrusters three times a week, but they're in different dosages. So like, we can go super light for like, let's say 45 pound barbell with like a skier where it's just high volume repetitions under fatigue. And then we might go heavy where we're talking like 205, 225. And then you might have a workout like Fran where you're like 95 and it's about intensity. So I just noticed that like we can repeat a lot of movements, but in different intensities and in different types of uh, settings where you know we're getting those different doses. I just said let's, doesn't, let's not just take two hours and start with the accessories. Yeah. We got two chains over here. Do you know who two chains is, Roman? It's just make him feel stronger. Huh? <laughs> Are you eating with us? No. Why not? Where are you going? Because I need to go make food. I need cracker barrel. Not cracker. That was so bad. Hundred bucks. It went downhill. It went downhill in two years. Where did he take y'all yesterday? Cracker go. barrel. Yeah, <laughs> it was bad. But actually, for breakfast, it's great. Yesterday for breakfast is good. I mean, my, I have I have chicken. Lunch? I have chicken pieces still in my car. My car smells like Ew. you know, like oh. diabetes. I had <laughs> we are going to eat. Carbo loading. No, yeah. we're going to eat. And then I'm going to visit my friends at the media department at yeah. Mayhem. As you, you know, should. yeah. Thanks, the, the, the best people in Mayhem are the media people, but don't tell this yeah. to anybody else. Yeah. I remember, dude, I remember my legs were just jelly. Why did so bad on that one? All right. Does that mean No, because that's going to be 81 reps if you get the 21, and then if 55 you, reps on if the you, second. You're guaranteed 55 on the second one. How did you know that, man? Happy New Year! <laughs> get, get, get to me. Get to me. Look at Roman complaining in the next 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't like the way that burpees look. Oh, it looks good. like B, V, V, P's. Okay. Oh man. I think it's going to rain cats today. What does that you mean? You see that? 
Cats and dogs. Cats and dogs? Yeah. Or cats or dogs? Yeah. Or both of them? <laughs> Together? <laughs> I don't know how you say it. Oh, oh, so Saxon taught me an expression. Um, Suck it up, butter cake. Oh, yeah, that's one of the uh, oldest ones in the book. I, it sounds very nasty. So, uh, the funny thing is that Elliot, who's here, he comes from Lyon, which is maybe the finest eating city in the world. Like, the many of the big ch chefs of international cuisine are from there. And I'm taking him over and over to Crackle Barrel. <laughs> like, he loves it. I mean, do you know that I make it to the... I, wait, do you know that I make it to the Instagram of Crackle Barrel, no? They send me a... Ah, yeah, yeah! No they send way! It to you! They send it to you! Yeah, yeah, yeah! So, they contact me. It's, 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 a, it's a true story, yeah. They contact me saying, Hey, guys, we, 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 you went uh, 13 times in one week to Crackle Barrel. So, we want to... Uh, for being a distinguished customer, we want to send you a... A, a, a goodie bag that I, they don't send it to Europe, so I send it to Saxon's house. Well, what was in it? Everything pancakes, honey. Uh, I might as well have just thrown some steaks in there. I mean, there is just about yeah. everything. And so, I made it to the Instagram, they even follow me. No way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crackle Barrel follows me. I don't, I don't think they have a lot of followers. I mean, I don't have a followers myself, but at least Crackle Barrel follows me. <laughs> He's made it. So bro. I made it. He's peaked. Ah, good now. Hey. Have you seen the workout? No. You want to see the workout? No? <laughs> what could we possibly do? A bad. It's the worst of two open workouts in one. So you like? No, not much. <laughs> not so much. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> we're doing, I mean, it's a variation on two open workouts. So we're going to do the number arm reps at six minutes, three, six, nine, twelve, and so on of overhead squats and chest to bars. Then we have some time off, four minute rest. And then we're going to do a uh, descending ladder of 10, 9, 8, da, 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 to one of overhead squats again and bar facing burpees. I know it's a daughter, I, I, a song my daughter sings the whole time with Ariana Grande at the weekend. Save your tears for last. Sing it. Save your tears for another day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. that one. Tears for last. Okay. Fakuno's not, not training. Fakuno's not training. I know. That's why you should be training, not dancing. <laughs> please, please, I know that you're going to go fast and so on. Think of proper reps on the overhead squats. I know that you're going to go super fast and you're. But please maintain the proper standard on the reps, okay? All in if you want to win. All in if you want to win. All in if you want to win. Lane, tricep extensions, and then kickbacks. Tricep kickbacks. <laughs> then Roman is going to do some rowing with Jorge, and you guys are going to go to the other place and do some uh, flips and some jerry can carries and a different kind of workout. Five. Can you hold us after, after five minutes to go to 135? I mean, why don't we try? <laughs> yeah. You said to burn it out, coach? <laughs> That was it, a great day of training. We had Roman, we have Saxon, Karen, Elliot, Jorge, Logan. Great day of training, as I said before. If I see many days like this, I'm sure that our Mayhem family is going to have a great 2024 season.